Well, today we're gonna be installing these IVAC springs. They're uh, 225 pound. Comes with a sticker, pretty cool. Add to my collection. I'm gonna be installing it on that right there. I got these spring compressors and uh, they should work pretty good. Uh, it was recommended by somebody else. They said these ones don't work. These ones, because they're too big and just kind of get in the way. Got the wheel off. Now I'm gonna take off the seat. You can see there's two uh, bolts in the front, one over here, and then I think there's another one below the seat belt. Yep, I have to get the last bolt out over there. Man, that's freaking hailing over here. 12 millimeter uh, bolt that's holding the brake line. And I've got a 14 millimeter over here. It's holding the suspension. So I've got this tool. It's supposed to help spread the uh, back area here in between this bottom part of the strut. As soon as you turn it, it's supposed to just give you this big gap. So I use a screwdriver, basically get it in there. Now, there, that wasn't so bad. You can see how it works. Splits it open pretty good just by cranking it. Should be able to drop it in there pretty easily. All right, now it's time to do the passenger side. 12 millimeter bolt attached to the brake line. 14 millimeter. Okay, I've got it loosened up in the back. My foot. Definitely makes it a lot easier having that tool. I don't think you forgot what it was called. If I can find it, I'll put the link in the description. The next part is compressing these springs so I can get them off. Uh, I finally just ended up using my impact wrench. Popped it and was able to loosen it up. Here are these springs at the same size. Looks to be a little bit more narrower on the eye box. My uh, CRX. This will be another episode. Oh, that's not good. Top cap on here. You see on the bottom, looks like it's not sitting very well. I think I'm gonna cut. As you can see here, looks like it's uh, sitting in there a lot better before so half a ring off that should be good i was told uh, that it works just fine with half a ring off Got it all in. 
gonna put the wheels on and test it out in a little bit. There she is. Looking pretty nice. Let's go for a test drive, check this thing out. It's not bottoming out anymore. They're actually pretty stiff. 225 pounds. All right, moment of truth, time for that test drive. Take her around the uh, property here. See how she does on these little bumps. She would always bottom out and stuff. Oh yeah. It feels stiffer already. Just these bumps, I'm not bottoming them out like I used to.